Thank you for clicking on my face. Uh, this is my first recording, so I'm going to be like super nervous the entire time, but I want to do a series of CSS battles, one through however many they have. Uh, hopefully, as I do these, you guys will learn some, learn some stuff along the way. Hopefully, some things you haven't learned before. Um, but this first battle, it's just a simple square. Let's get into it. So we got this square here, a little minty square. See, it's about 200 pixels tall but wide. Uh, and then we got this brown duty, duty color. It's duty color. All right, so the secret to CSS battles, you just delete, delete the comments. They even tell you to do that. Anyway, we're gonna leverage the HTML and the body uh, elements to get our duty colored minty square going. So I'm gonna add this brown color to the HTML. I'm gonna delete this div here. Uh, and then, oh, okay. Then I'm gonna start working on the body, which is gonna be this minty square. Makes me want some mints. Uh, it looks to be about 200 pixels tall. Uh, and 200 pixels wide. Nothing showing up, of course. We didn't put a background on it, so I'm gonna put this minty background. All right, perfect. So there's no CSS resets or normalize being used here. That's just uh, what developers use in order to make uh, styles consistent across browsers. None of that going on, and I know for sure that body has margin by default on it. So we just want to nuke that. So it looks to me like we're good. Uh, that's just, this is, so I'm going to submit this one and then show you guys another technique. Whoa, 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 okay. So we're going to nuke everything. Start from scratch. I'm going to show you how to use box shadow to accomplish the same thing. So our backgrounds are actually going to switch. I want this minty background to be um, our main background. And what we're going to do is we're going to use box shadow. Now box shadow has four uh, positional appearance tricks to it. Uh, Gosh, what, how would you explain that? Anyway, it has the X axis, so this way, left and right. It's got the uh, Y axis, up and down. Then it's got the blur. Then it's got the spread. Then your color. So what we're gonna do is leverage inset the brown duty color is going to be inset into this minty box and we know our canvas size is 400 by 300 so 400 pixels wide so our x-axis is actually going to shift 200 pixels and that's this brown color that we're going to apply and our y-axis is going to shift up negative uh, 100 pixels and this is to account for the offset so our square is 200, but our canvas is 400 by 300. And then we're going to put on our murky mud color. Yeah, all right. I think this accomplishes the same thing. It does. I'm gonna submit that. Oh yeah. Cool. Um, just two easy tricks. I know there's a few others you could probably use. Um, probably linear gradient. Yeah. Some other, you could use a pseudo before instead of using body. Oh gosh, don't put me on the spot, YouTube. Anyway, if you have any questions about what I did, or you just want to talk about CSS, let me know. Cool. Thanks for watching this. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day.
whatever that may be. Goodbye.